Next, let's look at our CGM output options and the ability to create hotspots to link with other pages or objects. Within our technical illustration module, we have the Web CGM standard and the cascading profiles of S1000D and ATA2200. With this, we can also generate an XML companion file as well as have the ability to add unique metafile names if need be. So let's just click on the preview and take a look at the 2D preview being displayed in Composer. So here we have the 2D vector image and we'll just go ahead and close that and save this as a CGM file. Just going to change the name a little here. Now that has generated the web CGM format along with the XML companion file. So let's open up the companion file and take a look at that. Let's go to the XML file here. And within the XML companion file, we of course have the file name and then the single hotspot that was generated in this particular file. And that's pointing to another file here with a dash 2.cgm file. Next, let's open up the CGM file. I'm just using a free viewer found on the internet here. And if I mouse over it, you can see the tip text. And if I click on it, it'll take us to the next file. And of course, the back button takes you back to the previous file. There you go. Powerful new CGM standard capabilities.